U.S. stocks closed higher Friday, with Dow and S&P 500 hitting record highs after J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo reported quarterly earnings. The U.S. producer price index for final demand stayed unchanged in September, compared to the 0.1% rise anticipated by economists. Traders maintained an 88% probability of a U.S. Fed rate cut in November, with a 12% chance rates will remain unchanged. China's deflation concerns intensified as consumer prices rose 0.4%, while producer prices fell to 0.8%, missing expectations from Reuters economists. Yields on long-dated U.S. government debt rose for a fourth week, driven by strong jobs data, the 10-year yield increased by 42.4 basis points. Asian financial markets began the week cautiously after China's finance ministry briefing and dropping factory prices heightened economic concerns. India's industrial growth contracted 0.1% in August after 22 months, while net direct tax collection rose 18.3% to 11.25 lakh rupees crore. Nifty ended on lower in the low-range trade, 108 points high low range, on 11th October. At close, Nifty was down 0.14% or 34.2 points at 24,964.3. Nifty formed a small negative high-wave type candle on 11th October closing at the lowest in four days. Nifty recorded a second consecutive week of fall though the fall was a mild 0.20%. Trend of Nifty remains choppy and rises could be met with selling pressure while dip buying could continue. 24,795 to 25,234 could be the broad range for the Nifty over the next few days. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.